A few of these drivers were just in the Dave McLeod Memorial shootout included in those. Is that 47X of Dylan Westbrook? You wonder if he made any uh, little tinkers to the car to, to change things up. Guys, the other thing to consider, Pauli Cola Giovanni is supposed to be out here, I believe. But with the damage and the heat, he's not going to make the call. So the youngest driver in the field not going to go out tonight. They'll work on it and get it back out for tomorrow. Last year's Sprint Car Nationals winner in this race. Sitting back there in that sixth starting spot, the law firm, Parker Price Miller. And the 67X as we get ready to come to the double greens from Kyle McKenzie and the Kevin Ward Jr. Young Stars Challenge is underway. Boy, what a tough front row in this one. Dylan Westbrook, the track champion here this year in the 47X. And Jordan Thomas, who, of course, we just saw on the front stretch moments ago taking the win in the Dave McLeod race. And now he puts a slider on Dylan Westbrook and takes the lead down the front stretch. Westbrook going to fight back in turn one. He'll do the same up in corner number two. Puts the slider on, but Thomas comes down the hill and gets back by in three. Here comes Westbrook digging deep and look out. Here comes the law firm. He's in third. This is the only race that Parker Price Miller has chosen to run tonight. Did not run the heat races or try to qualify for the Twin 15. So this is Parker's one chance to get a look at the track before tomorrow night. Off a corner four, Dylan Westbrook will lead the lap narrowly over Jordan Thomas. Sliders back and forth with three laps in the books. They're racing hard. Three wide down the backstretch, and Price Miller almost caught the wall there as Jordan Thomas, I don't think, knew he was there. What a battle at the front. Jordan Thomas will lead that lap over Dylan Westbrook. Here is the 67X. Parker Price Miller in tow in third. A good gap back to fourth. Chase Ridenauer. Harrison Macedo has made up some spots in that 3G car. As up front, it's Thomas still holding off Westbrook for the moment as Parker Price Miller tries to figure out how to get his way around both of them. Wow. <laughs> Racing at the front. Dylan Westbrook and Jordan Thomas come very close. Now here comes Parker Price Miller around the outside of D-Dubs. He'll grab the lead. Boy, this track is just perfect right now for great sprint car racing and now Parker Price Miller has taken the lead definitively as Westbrook and Thomas will continue their battle but now it's for the second spot. Seven laps complete six to go as the cross flags come out across the field Parker Price Miller your leader over Dylan Westbrook but Jordan Thomas not going away he'll come back down to the bottom side in three. Those guys have swapped positions almost every lap here as they continue to fight over the second spot and then behind them Macedo and Bilodeau going at it for position. Parker Price Miller is right on that thin razor's edge right now on the outside line, rim riding and getting it done across the stripe. He'll complete lap number nine. Well, Parker Price Miller getting a bit of a tune-up here for tomorrow night in that 67X car, trying to go back-to-back -back in the Canadian Sprint Car Nationals, and he's making it look good now in that town line variety machine. Three laps left to go for the driver out of Kokomo, Indiana. Parker Price Miller checking out on Dylan Westbrook, who just cannot shake Jordan Thomas. Thomas back to the inside another time. Now Westbrook again fighting back as those two continue to fight it out. Both drivers in this Young Stars Challenge, but definitely not short on experience as Price Miller will come around to get the white flag this time by. One more trip around for the law firm, the driver. And the Hills Racing number 67X looking to make it two in a row this year as contact down in quarter one between the second and third place drivers. Checkers out the Kevin Ward Jr. Young Stars Challenge for 2017 goes to Parker Price Miller. Dylan Westbrook second, Jordan Thomas third, Chase Ridenauer fourth, and Carson Macedo will complete the top five. Clinton Jeffrey will head down to Lucas Oil Victory Lane and talk with the winner, Parker Price Miller. Greg, am I mistaken, or did every driver in that top five come from a different sanction? I mean, those guys were mixing it up, driving the wheels off these races. Kevin Ward Jr., Young Stars Challenge. How about it for Parker Price Miller, ladies and gentlemen? Well, Parker, let's talk about why you didn't choose to run anything else but this race tonight. What's the thought process behind that? Uh, you know, last year, actually, I, uh, I didn't run any of this. I actually just showed up on Sunday and 
we were lucky enough to be uh, good enough to win. So uh, we felt like we should come with the same strategy, you know, uh, coming with a full head of steam, uh, you know, no bad thoughts because, uh, you know, you could have something go wrong tonight or, uh, you know, getting a wreck and just, you know, you're going into the race tomorrow low and uh, not a good feeling. So, yeah, just uh, just that's what we thought that we, uh, we should do. So uh, that's what we stuck with. Let's talk about a couple of mechanical issues. We saw heavy smoke going into one. Looked like it was just the oil overflow. I'm sure it's nothing you're worried about. And then we told you have no brakes when you rolled in here. What are those two mechanical issues going on with your car right now? Uh, yeah, you know, actually I had, I had brakes the whole race. And then after the checkered, I went to go press the brake and it was, went all over the floor. So uh, we'll get it figured out. Not a big issue. And uh, we'll come back stronger tomorrow. Good luck tomorrow. How about it, ladies and gentlemen? Parker Price Miller wins the Kevin Ward Jr. Young Stars Challenge. Hey, Mr. Ward, welcome. We got Kevin Ward's dad here. Great to have you with us, sir. Appreciate you coming back here and uh, being a part of our weekend. How are you doing? We're doing all right. I'll tell you, we wouldn't have missed this race for nothing. Uh, last year, we didn't make it here over uh, some family things, but uh, had to be here this year, and we'll be here every year we can. Glad to have you here. How about it for the Ward family, ladies and gentlemen, as we get rolling over here in Victory Lane on Lucas Oil Victory Lane as we get to wrap things up. Intermission quickly coming up, a chance for you to buy your 50-50 tickets, and we're going to jump right back into this with a few feature events and wrap up the night as we present the Burger Barn night before the Nationals here at the Big O. Thanks, Clint. We've got our souvenir program prize draw to do now. And if we could get the sellers to go to the base of the flag stand so our winners can claim their prizes, we'll do the souvenir program prize draw. Let's get those programs out. We also have our Burger Barn gift cards to give away here tonight, $25 a piece. We just need our souvenirs. There they are. All right, souvenir program prize draw. If you have any of these numbers, go to the base of the flag stand to claim your prize. First up, $50 gift certificate, courtesy of Grand River Dinner Cruises to program 148. 148. One hat, courtesy of Caledonia Auto Supply to 152. 152. One hat, courtesy of Caledonia Auto Supply to 194. 194. 